Bula Vinaka, Niandra, Niandra, Niamata Vinaka, tell me. Welcome to another beautiful day of a beautiful vlog on working on our project Valley. Welcome to day eight. Kawali singer. Ni Kenamai Vagatuni Rubale, Tarzuni Rubale. Pambulutan became Nikeve. One of Nisa Matamiki Nangori. Tosu boys. My Uber this morning. And Rabinaka Uber driver. Hello, good morning. I'm not uh, not yet in form. <laughs> so you are super tired. Tired. Yes, guys. Beautiful day. It says that it will rain, <sighs> but the sky is clear. What we can see here. There you go. Is clear. The sun is up. The sun is up. So, what can you say about uh, our last vlog working on on our uh, project? Well, Cut here. We we did a lot here. Eh? From day to day, yeah. our house looks better and better. Yeah, from day to day. That's right. Slowly but safely. Slowly but sure. Work smart, don't work hard. Yeah, but sometimes Pony is also not working smart. I uh, super work smart all the time. Because that's my wish, that's my motto. With your head you look like you're going to the beach. Hello, this is uh this is the fashion. What it looks like, oh I'm This is islanders. Oh we're going to Ibiza. What? <laughs> Ibiza. Ibiza? This is Islanders fashion style. It's new to you Germans because you just wear uh, uh, what you call that, like basketball, uh, uh, baseball cap. Hey, 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 hey! Man, this uh, construction uh, car. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, it will go like that. You have to be prepared. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this is our construction car. Yeah, but it will be later, uh, for this car when he's doing his driving. Yeah, later then I will uh, take out the engine. I'll put the engine of a uh, jet fighter there. <laughs> so that it fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will uh, put decoration some uh, yeah, here? decoration here. Yeah, guys, I M have a Music question. box. Sabufa. Can I say something? I have a question, especially to all the Fijians. Why is it that Fijians always want to decorate everything? They want to put here like their flag, their I don't know, their hats, their t-shirts, their statues, their everything should be decorated with lights and especially not like uh, uh, plain lights, like super colorful lights, with red and gray and blue and green and yellow and so on yeah rasta color man so maybe you can explain to rasta me man. I cannot understand it for me it's super like ugly yeah. but uh, the Fijians they always like to decorate their car their rooms their house their their winter garden like especially for Christmas we are always discussing with Pate how we should do our decoration at home he would like to make like this with red lights and then I'm telling you it looks like we are puff. <laughs> Crazy. Okay guys we are here now at our new valley. So right now uh, we are ready to take off now. So all the buckets are filled with cement. And actually Mr. Jakob came super early today. So as soon as I arrived, he already started filling the buckets with cement. And so now we put blankets on the side of the, between the walls and the stones. And now he's starting the first level today. 
so from yesterday from the last vlog there now we are continuing where we left off from yes from the last vlog all right Toso boys yeah guys checking the time so it's 10 minutes for one row and he just left with two stones to fill <coughs> so this is yeah, what I was talking about on the last vlog he has to crack uh, to yeah, half the stones so that it fits there you go the master at work so 10 10 minutes 10 minutes 50 seconds for one line and i would say he can go lower than that like seven or eight minutes because he was uh, uh talking to me uh, about my about this channel about this vlog yeah and then yeah to all of you who are saying hello to mr jacob jacob is saying hello uh, also of russis Privet. Privet. there you go guys so nice greetings from mr jacob he was super uh, happy to see the channel i showed it to him he could not believe that many people would be watching uh, the work that is going on at our project file and to be honest uh, to be honest guys he's so professional in putting up the stones a brick layer and some of the skills which he's been showing while working with him this whole time is just so amazing you know and yeah so now I know why we were stuck with this level and also from the window level because he needs a platform to go higher like a ladder or something I didn't know that I forgot so that's why we added this here so that he can go a little bit higher yeah so far so good Toso boys guys another update this is where we left off from yesterday uh, Jacob did yesterday so today one two three four five six seven layers seven layers from the morning till now it's just nine o'clock now we still haven't had breakfast so so far so good and the weather is a little bit raining now it's a little bit raining but yeah we'll just see what we can do before it gets uh, heavier rain gets heavier all right from bulletani we came in a sangasema gutumai those of you who are new to our channel uh, nice greetings from us here in Germany my name is Pate and my wife's name is Connie uh, I'm a Fijian I came from Fiji 2019 and was stuck because of Corona COVID I was stuck here in Germany and then when the border was open again uh, I went back to Fiji and then my visa done and 
now I'm officially legal to stay in Germany. <laughs> yeah. So we bought this house, which we are doing now, a project Valley, call it Project Valley. So we bought this house, which were already started building, built by the our last owner, and they just want to change the location. So they sold this house and land, and we managed to bought it with my wife. And now we are just continuing the building process from where the last owner left off. And right now we are just doing the clinker. In Germany they say clinker. In English, bricks. In Fiji we say stones. Yeah, and then next week the roof will come. Guy who's doing the roof. So, so far this is just Jakob the contractor who we hired to do the bricks to do the stones and I'm just here every morning to help him like bring the stones uh, mix the cement bring the cement because he's Jakob is 90 he's 60 years old um, but he's he's still strong definitely Germans Russians, he's from Russia, Jacob. They live longer, man. Six years old, still doing heavy jobs. Yeah, so far. So that's just an update from us. Now we'll just continue uh, putting up until we, Jacob wants to have breakfast, then we'll take a break from there. So if you're new to our channel, thank you so much for being here and watching our vlogs and if you want to know more about me and my wife you can check out the, the last few vlogs where we did our interview uh, Connie asked me some questions and well where I talked a lot about myself how I ended up here in Germany how we met you can check out that vlog and also yeah don't forget to like the video, give us a comment, your name, family name, or whoever you want to give a shout out to. On the next vlog, I will give you a shout out and where you're tuning in from. And don't forget to subscribe. Vinaka! Tosobus. could see that I was carrying it manually because of this stupid crane 
it's not working that's why I'm doing it manually and yeah now I have to take a break so that later we'll move the whole pallets so it's better not to top it up a lot and yeah from the morning we started off on the garage wall on the garden side so we finished we managed to do one two three four five six seven eight layers and then we did had our breakfast and now we are jumping onto this side on our neighbor's side beside the garage so you could see a couple already finished with two layers yeah and also we install the blanket of the for the walls so so far so good Toso boys yeah guys uh, this is another update and also I was talking a lot with uh, Mr. Jacob he's he was telling me I asked him about this work of uh, of bricklayer is, is that right? Eyo, bricklayer uh, he was telling me in Germany normal price for someone to come and install uh, the bricks so it's one meter by one meter that's 120 euros and uh, he got an offer from his brother who lives in Canada and the brother was saying in Canada is too much for 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter it's almost 200 euro 200 dollars US so it's a good job so I'm trying to learn as much as I could <laughs> who knows maybe I'll take up this job in the next years it it looks easy for me only the you know the beginning like normally every anyone can do the playing of the bricks uh, only the beginning like the bottom how you measure how you make everything level I would say that's the hard part yeah. so it's after 10 now I'm just waiting for my uber to come and pick me up again before I head back to class another school day today yesterday we had an exam uh, it was really hard man learning German and German language is one of the hardest language in the world uh, in English this is an example in English you could say the car the baby the water everything is that, 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 that. in German uh, there's different articles uh, so we use in Germany we use der, die, das uh, water is Wasser so das Wasser uh, uh, der, der Stuhl uh, uh, chair der Stuhl so das water der chair it's, it's like that and for every female you say D to them like D the girl in English is the girl and also in Fijian na lewa na ngone na baba everything is na in Fijian and also in English everything is ta but in Germany you have to use dear to something else D to the ladies yeah there to the men so dear man dear junger for boy the boy it's complicated and also you have to use ich, ich is me uh, du is you as is, is he she and uh, the that and also via 
wer ist we, er ist they, and z is like the professional z for respect for for someone who you don't know you should like use z to them like to old people normally those older than you like respect from uh maybe the name is nisambula saka so it's interesting but it takes time it takes time and some of the some of these German articles accusative dative grammatic it's it's all in the ears like i've asked connie my wife i've asked many people like what's the rule how do you know it's there how do you know it's there they say it's <laughs> like when you get used to it in hearing then you will get get it right <laughs> even some of them now still make mistakes some germans that's for real that's a fact they still now make mistake about their Adidas. Yeah, so today is another class, German class day, and tomorrow, Friday is back. There is no class on Friday, so Friday I'll be whole day here working. Yeah, okay. let's go for another round of mix and to continue up. Yeah, guys, this is our neighbor's house, just beside our house. 
uh, we were admiring how they did their brick you could see here and also in the middle there like it's design like a ladder design sideways and also on the top there it's like a ladder upside down ladder it's cool i asked jacob if he could do it he said yes definitely he could do it but it's so expensive he said it's that's because it takes time and more energy so it's so expensive yeah so now we are 15 minutes to 11 11 my uber will be here Connie has to come pick me up at 11 I have to go and prepare myself for my German class okay let's give some shout out to some of you who have just commented on our last vlog uh, first and foremost to Marky Moore uh, thank you so much for your positive comments and to the couple in uh, Canada uh, couple in Canada okay Ben Rocks I've uh, never uh, your comment just gave me some you know uh, motivation and I know that many people some people who are watching uh, won't be on my side but this kind of comments uh, gives me the feeling that thank you so much to the Rokondiba family and uh, to Ben Rocks, Ben Rokondiba, and to your beautiful wife, Salaseini Wakamino, and Rumbulo Vinakat, Maramatau, Kai Vinavale, and a comment to my, to Eddie MQ2. I, I, Naka Eddie, thank you so much for your wonderful comment. To Joseph Trail, Bulo Vinaka, Joseph Trail, and to Papa Nifa Afolau, Uso, thank you so much, Uso. Uh, it's been uh, a pleasure and uh, really happy that someone from another Pacific Island brother is commenting on our vlogs. Uh, yeah, Bula Vinaka to you and your family also. Uh, thank you so much. Vinaka Bukalev for commenting. To Moki Mor, Nasar Rugby Pacifica. To Mate, you're kidding. Sir, I'm not Boy, Eddie, Eddie, in New Zealand, eh? Bula, Eddie. I'm not going to do it. 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 Yo you encourage you are going you're doing a great job this is your house build you can do whatever you want you just tell us don't be discouraged we love you for your wonderful comment and uh, yes for me i also talked the issue with connie like we don't care uh, we know that that's life people will struggle to go up the ladder people who cannot climb up the ladder they will just try to drag you down so we are serving a God who helped 
us a lot in our daily lives so just forget just keep doing what you're doing and yo yeah. so those are the shout out that uh, i would give out today and also a big happy birthday to my tavale tavale oigen tavale oigen class and connie's uh, oldest brother uh, he had been featured in the last few vlogs the uh, long hair guy yeah so my tavale happy birthday tavale oigen may you have a wonderful and blessed day today and yeah we can we smack one grog manda cover eh? we drink cover Right, so let's get back to work before Connie arrives. Toso boys. So now Jacob is just marking the places where the line will run. Yeah, guys is also it also says that today will be a rainy day. But we thank God that it's just drizzling. It's not that heavy that we will manage to continue with our work. Master at work, chef, profi, chef, eine man, chef. <laughs> yes, Jacob is his own boss. He runs his own business. He's the only one working. And guess what? Jacob's uh, profession is a vet, veterinary. Is that right, veterinary? So he looks after. Uh, He's a doctor of animals back in uh, Russia, Russia, and uh, now in Germany, he changed his trade in becoming a bricklayer master, bricklayer doctor, <laughs> from uh, uh, animal doctor to bricklayer doctor, the master. Toto kasaran dapat asarra waktu na mau ni lengai Mr Jacob mangkosan sih nama nama kata kata. Hello. Kau setelah gue panal ya. Dua, dua ruah tolu ba, kali malak tu cing. Tu apa malua? Di top apa tu? Kalau mana bokete, total mana brick, total mana batu, asal dia bimbi tu cinga. Nah, laku batu tu ngan abih buke. Karena ni toman tu aku nak garam tapi kuntau. Guys, I was talking to Jakob and then he told me something new that I didn't know. In Germany, it's not allowed to open someone else's post, like envelope. If it's being delivered by post, you're not allowed to open your neighbor's post. If you found doing that, you can be arrested. Oh. I could hear the sound of that car. Sounds really familiar. Okay, so this is where we left off from now. Before I head to my German class. See, it's above my head. So we'll see when we come back from the German class. Okay, Jakob. Bis morgen. Vielen Dank. Hier. Ja. Now we'll see. 
when we come back after class. Check where we have to. Let's go. Bulavinaka once again, everybody. I just came back from my German class. Now, leaving home again to make use of this weather that God has gifted us. Yeah. Toso Tunga struggle as well. Guys, because the building a house here in Germany uh, normally it takes it takes one year one whole year from bottom to top one whole year uh, these houses were this house which we bought which we are building now it's already been started by the last owner So, but also we started on April, we started building, continuing the job. So, but our aim is to finish it before New Year. And whenever it's ready, I told Connie, like as soon as you put the toilet, bathroom there, kitchen, bedroom at the bottom, the seating room all is well let's let's move in while staying in the house then we can do other small jobs like uh, paint the bedrooms on top yeah. okay let's go toss over oh guys we are here at the house look the crane is working again this stupid crane man Let's go. Just take my tools. What do I need? Okay, guys. Remember where we left, left off this morning? The same. Jacob did not change anything here. Only here. See? He finished all the stones which were here man this is a big place he covered big job so just one meter uh -huh. yeah one meter left then covering the whole wall of the garage Katsi. Also, now the crane is working. So, we've cleared this place here, put all the stone away so that we can set up the pla platforms here. Like, uh, what's it called? So, now we can do the camera so that Jacob can climb on top and do the rest. Look at the view from here, guys. This is the third floor of our house. Super. Hello. Just trying to set up the platform where Jacob can work. So we are looking for thicker wood or timber. Where Connie is standing down there, that's where we are setting the what you call that? Scaffold. Scaffold, yeah, scaffold. Well, Another crane is working again. So I 
told the Kony to tell his dad that when the crane is working we should like clear clear all these clinkers all these stones put them all down so that if the crane is not working it's easier for us it's already down there see how big is the garden where you can put all the stones I don't know yeah could see the peak of the church there that's the center of the small country town or the center of the village here in Fruktop. Yeah, so far, so good. Toso. Alright guys, so this is what we have prepared for tomorrow. We set up the man another tan leather kango scaffold. Set up the scaffold scaffold so Jacob can work his way up till the rooftop tomorrow. And also we've been packing some pallets. And look, you have started to make a game mighty, but in your total not real, not green. So, I think our crane uh, has a hard problem because every time we have to smack the back of the crane. Good, but like I'm here? just thinking of yeah, super good. The grass is almost ready, but I'm just the grass is almost ready. Yeah, that's right. I just wish that these. Crane can work. Yeah. Otherwise, we have to go back to manual. Manual work. Master Fiji, Master, Master Pate, Fiji go. Mr. Fiji. Master Fiji. Okay, guys, now we're just putting pallets here on top of the. Uh, what you call this? Mm. On top of the platform, so that it's easier for Mr. Jacob to move. Mr. Jacob, we're making the job easier for you. Toso, here you go. So here, put the pallets. Fiji, Master Fiji looks like he's going to the beach, drinking some cocktails with his head. Slowly but sure. Just doing. Oh, you have the voice. Super. Should go to the Deutschland uh, superstar. superstar. Guys, this pellet I started it from the morning, so now we almost finished it. Let's go.
Der ist ein Uli. Deswegen. Von der Gemeinde? Aber den sollten wir gar nicht fragen, Rudi. Wem dann? Hat er ja gesagt, auf Gemeindestunde. Er ist dafür nicht zuständig. Okay, guys. Remember, I showed you on the uh, one scene of the video that a pallet of bricks was hanging here on the crane because the crane was malfunctioning, malnutrition. That's why we cannot put it more down, so it was hanging. But uh, by law, it's not allowed. You have to, you have to clear it. So <laughs> they don't know what to do. And the Fijian mindset just came, switched on. You know, we Fijians, we are so smart when, like, when people, white people think, uh, like, to point B, Fijians can think to point C or D. What do you want to say, my love? I think we need all clinker we can build in another house. Come to us. So you want to cover this? So now we just cover this, protect it from the rain. And yeah, like I was saying guys, it was not allowed in Germany to hang something on the crane and you go home without putting it down, the, what was hanging. So the Fijian mindset just switched, switched on. And then I told them like, why don't we use a ladder and climb up and just offload all the bricks which is on the pallet. And then we managed to do it. So I climbed up here and we brought all the pallets, uh, all the stones down. So now it's here. The stones are here. More useful to Jakob tomorrow. So he doesn't need to get those stones there to just reach out and pick one from here so can to na kaivits can to tamtavuku to vanga taka vinda ngano to vakasama kona mode kona wele uniangona torra ne fiji ne fiji 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 za ze kluke let's go Once again, guys, I'd like to give some shout outs to those of you who have been commenting on our last vlog, day seven of building our, of doing our project valley. Uh, first to Dante the Cow and your beautiful family in UK. Thank you so much for your wonderful comment. Navalevu uh, na comment to my uh, so let the land of Pakadem be Kirau, the Kiroma Willie can only comment Nasar Valley to Barbara for Ua Nasar Valley. Thank you so much for your comment on the last vlog of day seven working on a project to Eddie MQ Nakavalevu to Epeli Ratambadada in Georgia Nakavalevu Nasemo to my. To Shashi Kumar. Thank you for your beautiful, wonderful, heartwarming comment. And big uh, bulla to you and your family back in Sambeto. To Joseph Trail, Navale Buna Samatumai, Tavingu. Awesome vlog. Nah. Awesome way. To Rosalia Yohane, uh, Malombula to you guys and your beautiful family in Melbourne, Australia. Bulavinaka. Thank you so much for always joining us and watching our vlogs. To Reggie Kumar, Toso Boys. Bulavinaka to you and your beautiful family in Fiji and abroad. To Manu Emosi, Bulavinaka Maitau, Nawalebuna Samutumai, Toso Boys. Kalunga Tsuna Dakadaka, Garabtavi, Kenabuvali. Anil Prasad, Bulavinaka. Thank you so much for commenting on our last vlog, brother. 
We'll have enough to end your family, beautiful family. Susan, Ram, we'll have enough to you and your beautiful family back home in Fiji and overseas. Thank you for commenting on our last vlog. To Susan Lal, we'll have enough to you and your family back in Melbourne, Australia. From Melbourne, Australia. Dombula. Navalevuna Sema to my. Thank you so much for joining us. To Papa Nifo for Alau Uso. Thank you so much for commenting on our day seven vlog. Uh, nice greetings from Masi and Germany from Konya and I. To Ben Rocks, Watake Sala, Sala Seni Bakamino, Rosambula Vina, Navalevu Kaina do Sema to my. To Dangu Pita. Bula Vinaka from PNG. Don't bula my PNG. Thank you so much for always joining us. And uh, thank you for your comment on the last vlog. Moki Mor. Nava Levuna comment to my. Thank you for your comment. And uh, God bless you and your beautiful family. To Brian Hungo. Bula Vinaka in New Zealand. Bula Vinaka to you and your beautiful family. Nice greetings from us. Toso boys. And finally to Andreu. Joe Mbanyivalu. Kalau bina Andrew, kalau nggak takut kena nuer, tak kata na sesana. God bless. Okay guys, we are all ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Ah? Huh? Yeah. So all is ready here for Mr. Jacob. One, two, three pallets of stones. So tomorrow we'll finish the whole uh, uh, wall of the garage on the. Uh, on the terrace side on the garden side here garden side so this is 7.10 meter Se no 7.90 meter that is 7 meter 90 centimeter and this is 8.90 this is to the neighbor's side so this I would say Monday because tomorrow Jacob is just doing half day I think definitely we'll just make the whole side here yeah okay, let's go and also good news guys Tomorrow I'll be whole day here. So, great vlog on our next vlog will be awesome because I'll be spending the whole day so there's no German class on Friday. <coughs> Let's go home, Tosu base. Okay, we are taking our, our construction car, our Lamborghini. This is a Lamborghini. Papa will be driving our Audi. This is our family car. So Papa is taking this. We are taking this because tomorrow we have to come early. Papa, what do in the next party with Anne? So guys, we are ready for today. It's after eight, and we are going home now. So super f fast. Uh, the time was super flying. And yeah, we just finished our work. No matter if the finger is bad, just go ahead and do whatever you can. We all love you for watching our vlog. Please keep continuing watching our vlog. Subscribe. Sub yeah, subscribe. It like. will become more, more, more and more um, interesting because now we are just doing the outside job, but. After a few weeks, we will start with the roof and then first inside and so on and so on. Can't wait to show you our house and our ideas, what we have. Our kitchen. Right now, we are planning our kitchen, how it should look like. Have the a bathroom. Great, great ideas. Yes. So, yeah. It's just a couple of months and then we are moving into our house, guys. And I wanted to tell you something. Uh, like maybe many people would ask like how can you do that? How can you afford it? Is it not too risky? Is it the right decision? I would say just go ahead. I mean like in 
every family situation there will, there can come problems where you say okay it's not working anymore but what will you lose you can sell it again so don't think of it and also many people are saying ah we are not we don't know if we will stay for um for long in in germany or in the city yes that's right but i mean do you want to rent your whole life long like a small apartment this is like a little bit wasting money so yeah just a short reminder to everyone like think of it maybe it, it's also part of your life and just make yeah. a wise decision yeah wise decisions is always always uh, important because for us for sure I, it's also big big thing for us but for sure it was like a super go with that from God definitely like it was a totally blessing yeah uh, an answer which was saying do it mm. otherwise would God would not have opened all these doors which were before like impossible for us so, we prayed for this guys we prayed we yeah. like did our fasting yeah so many times uh, like there were situations where we could buy but it was not working or there was something what did not make us happy or you know some things which did not work and this house it was like everything was yeah i think perfectly planned man. yeah yeah so just yeah just do it it's i think like having a house it's also will do something with your family life especially you have to work for it hard then you will uh, like um yeah how can i say like enjoy enjoy and it will be more for you than for example you just buy some So guys, we'll, we have to finish off from here. So once again, thank you so much. Uh, a big shout out to Reggie Kumar. Uh, these are the comments that uh, I've received uh, lately. Uh, big shout out to Reggie Kumar, to Susan Ram, to who else? JJ. Yeah, those uh, who have just commented on our last vlog. Thank you so much for your comment. It really means a lot to us. And uh, don't worry, guys, we are okay. What had happened, it's finished. We forgo forgo uh, forgot it now. And we are moving okay, on. Move on. We are taking uh, the next steps now. So we are just asking God to bless that person, you know, and... Uh, and to make us just forget it so guys we have to say goodbye nisa mode god bless you all it's me from me pate and from cornelia Klassen the family. Sele, my family <laughs> okay more than kede toso boys